you get to learn from you know a kid that was influenced by Coach Reed, a kid that was influenced by Coach D'Agostino, a kid that so you, you know you're coaching all you get all these kids and they're already pretty good and you and they all do something pretty good and you say oh well, what is that and so you're just kind of a student of your whole team and you get to learn it's like a fast forward clinic of, of some of the best coaches you know in, in the country and definitely in the, in the southeast so you know I, I kind of had a general idea of uh, of just a variety of coaching and college coaching to me was a lot easier than high school because you already you had a good kid now you got to do is show them a little extra setup you know show them a couple of different finishes maybe but they're already kind of you just kind of got to shine them up a little bit more whereas what we do is we take a kid from the hallway you know and try to make him into a wrestler um, so what I found out in, in, in college wrestling is, is uh, for your recruits, the two-time state champion, it didn't matter who he was, what his accolades were, for the most part, you know, the 90% of the state champs that we deal with in the Southeast, they come in, and the one position they were horrible in was Bob. Always Bob. You know, they could wrestle on their feet sometimes with their upperclassmen, they could kind of hold their own, they might be able to ride a little bit, you know, if they were a natural leg rider, they could get a leg in, they could hang on to, to the college, the advanced guys already. But on bottom, they just got exposed. So I told myself, if everyone that night, well, but most of the kids that I brought in that were good, highly accolades in high school, they sucked on bottom. So I'm going to spend all my time on top, or most of my time on top. So I can at least spend a crap load of time on top to expose. We know that a stud in high school, you know, all he wants to do, he wants to hit super dub, trip, throw, you know, you know, he wants to hit nine low singles. So he's really not going to spend a lot of time on Bob because he's boring. Because you know what he's going to do 90% of the time? He's going to choose neutral. So we're going to do, you know, we kind of, we always defer because we want the guy to choose down and then we'll choose top in the third and they never, you know, get a chance to get, get any other position. But um, anyway, so we spend a crap load of time uh, on top. And it's easier to teach top than it is Bob because we already know that bottom's about more attitude and refusing to get road and just kind of, you know, getting your feet and being kind of nasty and, and, and not submitting it, it personality on the school than anything else. So, and, and in top, you can do a bunch of different things. It just seems like there's a million different things you can do up there. So anyway, so I spend a lot, a lot of time uh, on top. If they're short, we show double legs or short legs or high thigh ride. If they're tall, then, I, then we teach them cross, uh, cross body ride or the whatever you would call it, where you just have one leg wrapped around the ankle. And then, uh, like Coach was saying, that once we get them in position, it's just all about maintaining the position. Not necessarily stalling, but maintaining the position. So if you're a leg rider, you know, if you're double legs, you're, you know, you're behind the arms and chest up and pressure. And if you're a cross body leg rider, your elbow's in the armpit, the other one's down at the uh, ankle, which we call the ankles. And you're just kind of really just trying to break them flat. We don't really try to do any moves when they're on their knee, hands and knees, as far as leg ride. Uh, we try to get them flat, and then we we do a bunch of you know different things or whatever from there. Um, but anyway, so as far as philosophy from that thing, a lot, a lot of top. Um, now we'll go to uh, neutral. Um, it's physiologically a really hard thing to do to, to level change and take a shot. And you know, it's hard maybe for us to remember then how hard that is because we're older and now we want to demonstrate a shot, we just lower a level, we take a shot, stuff like that. But even not just, you know, work ethic, but physiologically it's not a natural position uh, to take a shot. Now this is a this is a natural position, it's an active position, but I'm talking about literally changing levels and penetrating. You can take a great athlete from the football field and show him, and he's going to trip, you know, five or six or seven times. You know, he's not going to. It's going to take him a while. So anyway, um, I, we don't. We will teach. We do exactly what what coach said. We'll elbow pass by to. Well, actually, I tell them every time they should be trying to do a double leg because what will happen is is they'll end up in a high crotch or maybe a, a single. But otherwise, you know, they tend to. Reach, but anyway, um, we don't. I don't expect them to shoot the first two years that they wrestle in our program. I say I, I don't care if you ever shoot. Do not shoot. There, there's no reason because what happens when they shoot when they're new is first of all physiological.